the interesting thing about foundry work is for thousands of years they've been doing the bronze process the same way and just now we're able to change it. My name is Chad Casel. I own Firebird 3D here in Troutdale, Oregon where we 3D print art. Firebird 3D is where I work directly with artists doing 3D scanning, 3D printing, digital sculpting and design work. We use the Gigabot to do the 3D printing and we cast that at Firebird Bronze. At the beginning of business, we started off doing foam enlargements where the artist would bring us a maquette, like a small sculpture, and we'd 3D scan that and use a foam CNC machine to enlarge it in foam. What happens with that is you have a very porous, undetailed surface that the artist will put clay over and sculpt the original again. And then it has to get molded where you take silicone rubber and a hard shell over the entire surface of it. It's a very costly and time-consuming process. And if it's a one-of-a-kind piece, you now have a big mold that you've paid a lot of money for that's completely obsolete. But that's how we started. For small things, we had to use a Stratasys object printer. It hasn't been used in three years because it's very, very costly. It could cost over $1,000 for a liter of this resin. When we found out that we could skip the mold by casting PLA, that's when we decided to look at our other options and buy some equipment. We got the Gigabot when we got our first big project of 3D printing the Model T car. We needed to sculpt Sam Hill and Sam Lancaster. They founded the historic Columbia River Highway, which you drove on to get here. We got this job and originally I had milled it out in foam. We realized how long it was going to take to get all those perfect shapes and form the tire and do all that detail work. And then we had mold makers starting to bid it and, and the costs were just getting really, really high. My dad, who owns the foundry, he knew I was doing some 3D printing and he said, can you look into this and see if there's any way to bypass the mold and just design in the computer and 3D print it. I was talking to the foundry about what are some of the parameters we needed to complete this project. I mean, there's lots of little printers out there that are inexpensive, but the foundry was saying that the printer should match the slurry tank at the foundry, and the volume of that that they can reasonably pour is two foot by two foot by two foot. So I, I looked around and that's where the Gigabot came in handy, where it's the exact same parameters as the foundry. So anything I print on there, I can directly go to the foundry and not have to worry about size issues. It's the exact same parameters as theirs. So it works really, really well with bronze foundries. We ended up purchasing that and we were able to directly invest the 3D prints into the bronze. The project worked out perfectly. We saved a ton of money and a lot of time. We had a couple people bid the mold and it could have cost maybe three or four times what it would cost to print it just to do the mold, not including the sculpting and original design work you'd have to do that would have been very costly and could have taken months of work. Whereas the Gigabot was able just to run 24-7 and 3D print it perfectly ready to go.